Right, now we're talking Emmerdale and after the shock stabbing, well, Matty is a bit worried about a future in jail. Yeah, go on, gal. Yeah. Hannah. Hannah owes us one. Right, will you pack it in with that? All right, he's called Matty. If you're not done, Samson, get that money! <laughs> Josh pushed him onto me. I'm, I'm telling you. Mr. Cope denies that that ever happened. I can't! Something I can't! I can't go to prison! Something Daddy, I can't! We'll leave him for course in an hour. Oh, his little oh. face. That last clip was an exclusive look at tonight's episode and Ash Parmesan. No, I hope I oh, get that a wee bit right. Oh, lovely. It plays Matty. It's so good to see you. Oh, it's lovely to see you. But poor Matty. I know. He doesn't want to be in the jail. I mean, this is the worst possible thing that could happen. This is the worst possible thing that could happen. It's not a good time for him, Lorraine, no. at all. I mean, you know, he's a nice guy, right? And he's a soft guy. He's been quite sheltered by his lovely family. The thought of going to prison anyway mm. would be terrifying let alone the fact that he's a trans guy. Um, sure. What does that mean for him? You know, what is it going to be like in there for him? It is an extra whole layer of fear. Yeah, there is very yeah. much so. And it's an important storyline for you yeah. to do, isn't it? You know, for, for, you, for you yourself. Exactly, yeah. I mean, for me, I, it was like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to sort of transform something that was a, a struggle in my life sure. to sort of transform it into something that could really help sort of break down the barrier of what it means to be trans and sure. just tell a human story. Um, and as I said, you know, we we spoke before that, that Matty's been so accepted in the village yes. and so loved that actually that isn't always the case for trans people. So to be able to show this, this unfortunate situation that involved mm. transphobia that is now led on to him going to prison and what's the coming there, yeah. it's been really great to be able to show like a real perception of that and what that would be like? No, absolutely, because what I love about Matty is he's just Matty. Yeah. I mean, when he first came on, it was Matty the trans man. Now yes. it's just Matty. That's right. And it's that's just... really, really good. And that's so important for you yeah. to portray that in, in Emmerdale. So now we've got to know Matty and we, we just like him. Um, but to see him then very vulnerable, I think that's really important yeah, to it's, portray that. Yeah, you know, as an actor, it's been really lovely to play yeah, something a bit course. gritty, show him a bit vulnerable. And as you said, you know, he's, he's a sort of, a, he's a nice guy. He's sort of well liked in the village and he's got a lovely wife now, of just course. got married. Absolutely. Everything's going for him, you know, he's got his whole life ahead of him. And then all of a sudden he's faced with this awful situation where he's innocent as well you know he's been framed he's pushed into the this situation where he's been held on remand and yeah to be able to show that vulnerability mm. as an actor is great but also to show him as a human you know that we all mm. we'd all struggle in that situation oh gosh absolutely everybody everybody would but to be on one of the most popular shows on telly um, and to be able to do these sorts of, of storylines, I mean, yeah. as an actor, it's a gift, isn't it? Yeah, it really because is. Because you, you kind of never know what's going to happen. No, you, you don't, really don't, don't know what's around the corner. You don't one know what's next. One minute you're having a joke, with... yeah. and then the next minute it's <laughs> real, real proper drama. That's it. One minute you're getting married, the next minute you're in prison. You well, never know what's around the well, corner. Well, that's life, isn't it, Matt? <laughs> that is that's life, life. Ash. Um... Ash, that is what happens in true life <laughs> all the definitely. time. But you, you know, you've, you've slotted into that. I cannot believe it's been all that time. I know. Do you still feel like a newbie? Or do you I feel, do. Do well, you a wee bit? I can't believe it, because when I was growing up, you know, I always wanted to be an actor. Of course. And I remember saying to my careers advisor, you know, I would love to be on the telly. And because of from a small town in the Midlands and, you know, everything else. They said, you know, maybe think of something else. Don't get into it. <laughs> right. You know, the classic. So yeah, yeah. I was, you know, grafting for years. I was yeah, doing all sorts of jobs. You know, I, was, I think I said to you last time I was on the show, I was a full-time peasant at Warwick Castle for a long time. Yes. <laughs> trying all sorts of Not things. Not many people have got that in their no, CV. That's true. <laughs> they were yeah. a peasant at Warwick Castle. <laughs> but it is that thing, you go and bring everything to yeah. life. It's so, It's so great. Weird. It was good. It was you good do fun. that, you can do anything. Well, that's it. That's what they say. Um, <laughs> it was great. And then, yeah, so for me, to get this it was a real last chance I sort of my family was saying to me uh, maybe you should think of something else and I said nice. okay and I was volunteering for a charity at the time that were working with uh, consulting on this storyline oh, so that's right. how I got into it I went oh. along and uh, I didn't say I was an actor but by the end of it they sort of said would you like to audition so I said yeah go on then 
And then, Isn't it amazing yeah, how these things happen? Seven years later, I'm, I'm still there. Yeah, and still. And yeah. the thing is about that is you want to, if you're enjoying what you do and you're getting all of these amazing challenges and you're making a difference, because you must get a really great response, not just from other trans people generally, but especially right now when things are really hard. Yeah. I don't know if it's ever been as tough to be a trans person. I, it's really I hard. I think it's really tough right now. Which is right why now. it's so important. Yeah, it's really tough right now. And this is why I wanted to do the role. You know, when it came up, I had to really think about it, Lorraine, because I was like, I'm going to be putting myself out there massively. And, and, you know, I lived a lovely little bubble. You know, I didn't have to talk about being trans every day. Sure. Really supportive family. So when I chose to do this role, I thought, what an amazing opportunity to like, not obviously my dream job, but also to be able to help break down those fears of what it is to be trans. Because, mm. if, you know, essentially trans people are just like everyone else. Exactly. They've just changed a few things to be who they are. Exactly. And it's that simple. So for me to be able to be that image and a reference point for someone, perhaps transitioning younger at school or even, you know, an older person to be able to sort of speak to their, their family member that's trans, to be able to help that and be a reference, it's, it's a dream come true. And I really hope that it makes a difference. No, it does. Yeah. And you should never feel that you have to justify your existence because it's ridiculous. Yeah. It is absolutely. ridiculous. But look, there's something very serious I have to talk to you about. Yes, OK. Very serious. Go for it. You have been in Emmerdale for all these years and you do not have a pair of Wellington boots. <laughs> no, but I had a farmer song playing on your show, so I'll say... <laughs> so sorry about that. I was hilarious. <laughs> we were howling about that. Was it the Wurzels? It was the Wurzels, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there oh, 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 yeah, yeah, there we are. Because, you know, that's what Emmerdale's all about, obviously. I don't <laughs> think there's that much farming ever gets no. done. No, but, but we I do need a pair of wellies. Well, it just so happens, young man, what? that I have got a pair of wellies are you joking? for you. Thank you, my love. Oh. There they are. Adorned. Oh. Adorned. Oh, my goodness, look at those. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? These are my dream wellies. Guess what? I'm going to Glastonbury in two weeks. Oh. I'm wearing Lorraine oh, listen, Wellies. Just, just change all that. They're just stickers. <laughs> they can come off and I'm, you can do something better with them. I might give them, them out. Oh, my God, do you know what you've made? I've been actually in the market for a pair of Wellies. <laughs> and they're your size. And they're my size. Oh, yeah, do you find my so, Yeah, oh, we know everything. I'll tell you what, I'm coming back here again. You haven't got any waterproofs, have you? <laughs> we'll sort it. We'll sort it. We'll definitely sort it. It is a joy oh, to see you. It always thanks, is a joy lovely. to see you. Thank you so, so much yeah. for everything that you're doing just by being you. Oh, and, of course, thanks. Emmerdale continues tonight. 7.30, enjoy the wellies. Woo! <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm glad I didn't take these to prison. <laughs> no, don't, don't. I could get you in a hell of a lot of trouble. Right,